Another useful workflow that you can use preview uh, for is to mark positions. So um, here I just went in the in the previous workflow I showed you, I just went to one position, but maybe what we want to do is look around and then mark based on this image specific positions that then we want to image. So for example, I could go um, I could go to this cell and say I want to mark that one. So to do that, we can go here to this positions tab and if we click on add position, that will need but now be one position that um, will be added to a list of positions to image. So um, we can also, let's say, move here and add a position, move here and add a position. We can also add them automatically by clicking by clicking on this. And if we want to keep that going, we can just say keep tool. And then every time we click on this, we'll add a position that will populate a list of positions that then we can navigate. So for example, if I now go to this one by double clicking on it, it goes there. If I go to live, I have this position. Now notice that uh, this position, the Z isn't quite right. So maybe what we would want is to check the Z of all of them before letting it image. And so we can, um, if you wanted to do that, we can use the following tool. Go here, we can go to verify and use live. And so we can adjust the focus. And uh, move to the current point. You can move, say, set Z. Sorry, I, I wasn't on the right point. But I just went to the first one. I said set Z and move to next. We can set Z and move to next. And we can do this over and over. And so the reason we're doing this is that once we have these, once it says all points have been verified, we can close. And then what we can do is image all of these by just clicking Start Experiment. So you'll see this is this is not checked. We don't want to do that. But it's going to do these seven positions, which have all been sort of focused verified. So we can just say Start Experiment and pretty much walk away from it and come back to seven positions. And you can see that the positions are denoted by this scene slider. So we can look at whichever ones we want. And at the end of it, we'll have seven in-focus positions um, all taken automatically by the software once we've verified their Z.